All right. <laughs> what tilted it Brett's way? What was the things that caught your eye? Um, I don't know, I'll be honest with you, it was a hard decision. You know, you know what it was like? It was like judging the Miss America pageant. They all look good, you know, but somebody's got to win. Um, um, Please I, tell me they didn't have a bathing suit uh, part. <laughs> That's personal. Okay. That's <laughs> personal. Um, no, because, you know, actually we'd gone in the spring. We thought somebody would pop out in the spring. And then we got started in camp. We started in this camp. And, and it's a good, I mean, of, of all the years the, um, that I've been doing this, is it, um, I mean, that from Brett on down to Jerry has been, I mean, they've been a solid group, and They're fun. And I really believe that we can win with any four of the guys. Um, I think Brett has just kind of been the most consistent day in and day out of all of them. Um, he did a great job this summer, you know, preparing with his summer workouts and getting in the film room and the kind of the off the field stuff. And uh, I just felt like with the, the, at this point he was a guy that, uh, you know, we all wanted to go with. There's no, no in any means the, uh, and I was really proud of the other guys because they came out and actually had all of them had their best practices of, of camp today. And they're all very supportive of each other. And like I told them when we talked to him yesterday, I said, you know, it's not Brett, it's this room that has to help us win football games. And so that includes all of them. What, what does Brett bring to this offense? I mean, Brock was his own type of guy, but what are the differences that Brett brings to your offense that Brock did? Well, obviously Brett's a little bit more athletic as far as, you know, with his feet. You know, and he can create things with his feet. He can get out of trouble. Um, you know, he's a pretty athletic kid. Um, you know, the only thing, and it's the same way when we ran into the season with Brock, is that, uh, you know, Brock hadn't played much. Um, Brett hasn't played much either, so we still got to go through that learning curve of experience, which is the best coach out there is experience. How much do you tailor it differently for a guy like Brett? We don't. It's, it, 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 I mean, we run our offense. Okay. okay. I mean, we don't put in anything new because it's only calling because Brett's in there. And if Richard goes in, we don't do not, not call those plays. I mean, our guys run our system. Um, our system entails our quarterback having to, you know, use his legs at times. Does he give you more options though because of his athleticism? No, here's what athletic quarterbacks do for you. Athletic quarterbacks make my bad calls good calls sometimes. Seriously, you know, I mean, it's when it's the ability to create plays. You know, I'm gonna call some plays that just ain't worth a damn. You know, and it's the right defense, it's the wrong play, nothing's open, whatever happens. And a good quarterback, you know, a guy uh, that's got some athletic ability like that can use his feet and create, you know, plays for us and make first downs uh, for us when, when, when something wasn't there. Do you have an inkling of who, who the number two guy might be yet? Or? Uh, no, I think right now they're all number two. Yeah. I mean, I'm, I'm saying that in all sincerity too. I mean, it's not. I'm not being politically correct and trying not to hurt anybody's feelings because I, I basically always tell these guys the truth whenever I talk to them. Um, I think it's a really great situation is we've got a, a young guy in Brett that's that's got a ton of potential, you know. And like I tell him, I said, Brett, don't mix, mistake potential for performance. You still have to perform, you know, when the lights come on. I've got two kids that have been in the battles and won, won big games for UCLA in both Richard and Kevin and, and have played and been in the, in the big, you know, have been in the big, big, big games. And so the, the, that's two good guys that, that is in the group. And then I got uh, Jerry, who's, you know, who I think has really had a great camp. And I'm excited about, you know, how he's progressed as a, as a really a true freshman. I know he gray shirted, but as a true freshman. That Brett does have four years left. How does that affect you guys going out and recruiting other guys? Since you have a starter who's got that much time left. Man, we're not a lot different than a lot of the other, <clears throat> a lot, a lot of the other uh, teams out there. Now maybe their freshman is not their Richard freshman is not starting, but he was also probably a, a highly sought recruit when they signed him. Um, you know, so <coughs> I think every year you go out and you try to you try to recruit the best player you can to help your football team. Does it help at other positions where you can say, look? Unlike a certain school across town, our starting quarterback is going to be back next year. Um, I don't know. I don't think about that stuff. I'm just worried about trying to make a first down, Chris. <laughs> I really don't. You well, know, you came up short on that answer. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Talking about worries. How? What's your feeling on the offensive line at this point? Uh, there are not many of them out there. <laughs> you know, um, there's been some. There's been some pleasant surprises with a couple of the guys, like Ben. You know, and, and you know what happens is, is we're just not, you know, 
like I tell the old, the old line, you know, good old line are, are five guys that play like a nickel, not like five pennies. And, uh, you know, it's hard to build that continuity when a guy's in and a guy's out. And, you know, and a guy has to move from right guard to left guard and because just because you're down in numbers. Um, but on the, on, the, on the plus side of it, it's also given a chance for some of the younger guys like Ben and those guys to, to step in and, and, and really start to, to progress faster than they might have before. So, yeah, it's a concern. Um, you know, we, it, is it as much concern when all those guys get back out there? No. But at this point, you know, shoot, it's, it, it's, it's college football. It's football period. That's how, you know, the next guy's got to always be ready. So maybe our football team's learning that. What guys kind of got a spot locked up on that line so far? Well, you know, I think X, uh, I'll tell you, the guy is really, I'm really happy with how he's gone and run. Our, our center is so important to this offense. You know, we always talk about the quarterback and all that kind of stuff. But we really, we really got to have a center that is just like a quarterback for us because, um, you know, we're, we're, we're kind of a fast tempo team. So he's trying to get four other guys on the same page with him in a very quick amount of time. And so I, I'm really happy with Brendel and how he's been handled that. So he's he's a guy that's been that has really stuck Brendel, out and really stepped up before us. Brendel and X and I don't know, maybe if Baca's helped. Yeah, Bach, Bach has been was playing good. Now he's got dinged, so he's down a little bit. Um, Ben's been coming on pretty good at the right tackle. You know, we just need some of those young guys to just just get back out there and start getting some reps so they can start developing. So if Baca's healthy, it's pretty much two spots that you're still looking at. Yeah. You mentioned uh, the experience behind Brett. How short is his leash if he does struggle in a game or two? Um, how short is his leash? I told these guys yesterday. That's not my mo. You know, I'm not. I don't want my guy every time he makes a mistake looking over his shoulder. You know, afraid if uh, his shoe comes untied in the huddle that I'm going to yank his butt um, to go out and just play the play the game. But and now I'm talking about not ex those guys that are experienced not only during a game. You know, because you know, any you know, it's like any spot, right? You're one play away. You know, the old coach speak, right? That's what you sit, say to your second team guy to keep him fired up. You're only one play away. All right. Well, there's that's true. You know, they are only one play away, and uh, they. And but he's also he's uh, the, he's also there. Richard and Kevin are also guys that Brent can lean on and bounce things off of. They've been in there, and, and they can you know communicate with him about you know playing the game, preparing for the game, and those type of things difference now in, in practice as far as you know, rep counts for, for Brett getting more than the other guys? Uh, I mean, during camp, really not a whole lot. Brett will pick up a few more, you know, but uh, I, I still train all four of them. You know, I train all four of them up until we probably start to get into the to the Rice game, until we start working against Rice. I mean, I, I prepare all four of them. If I got to use them, they're, they're, they're ready to go. All right, guys? Super.